But since this show is devoted to playing cards, I'm going to show you uh, a concept that Molini invented around the turn of the century. And the idea here was that more than one person would take a card during the course of an effect. So I'm actually going to step into the audience. You don't have to join me on stage. And I'm going to ask a number of people to take cards. Uh, if for some reason you don't want to help, that's fine. If you do, that would be great. Uh, I'll ask the woman on the end. Uh, you don't have to get up, but if you just say... Uh, Stop at some point when I uh, put these in front of you. And if you'd actually look at that card and try to remember it. I'm going to ask the gentleman next to you to remember it as well. Otherwise, I'd have an effect with no plot. So you will uh, remember that card. And as a gentleman with a mustache, would you also say stop for me? Stop. Okay, and that's one for you. Good. And, uh, well, you've done yeoman's work already, Larry. The woman sitting next to you, if you don't mind, would you say stop? Stop. Good. That's one for you. And if you'd help try to remember that. Uh, and perhaps this gentleman with the tie. Thank you. Stop. Good. One for you. And uh, the gentleman on the aisle? Stop. This one or the next one? Uh, the next one. The next one. That's fine. So I've had a number of cards selected. Um, I was just thinking that uh, also a pleasure living in Southern California is I've gotten to know Ozzie Malini. This is Max Malini's son, who's now a retired businessman. And uh, a while ago, he told me a story about his uh, father that I'll share with you. It seems that many years ago, uh, Malini was asked to perform for Governor Brown of the Philippines. And Governor Brown, knowing that Malini was Jewish, decided to play a joke on him. And at a very important dinner, he served him an enormous roast pig with an apple in its mouth. And uh, Malini looked at this pig uncomfortably for some time, and then took out his table napkin and covered it. He paused for the requisite dramatic moment, whisked the napkin aside. The pig had completely vanished, and the cooked chicken was in its place. <laughs> Uh, fortunately for me, this, uh, this show is devoted to playing cards, so I'm not obligated to conjure with poultry. <laughs> Which means that I have to ask you to take a card. That's all I do in life. So would you be so kind as to just say, stop at some point? Stop. Okay. And if you'd remember that and the gentleman behind you would help, would you remember that card as well? And if I can ask this gentleman to also say stop for me? Stop. Okay. That's one for you and the gentleman next to you, if I can get you to say stop. Stop. Good. Please remember that one, and, and you as well. Yes? Stop. Good. I think that's enough. Well, I shouldn't prejudice Rose uh, uh, further back than the first. I see a gentleman with a tie in the second row. Can I also get you to say stop? Stop. Okay. And one for you. A firm stoppage, I might add. Uh, so I've had, I don't know, 11 or 12 cards selected. Uh, I'm going to shuffle the cards and try to find those cards again. Actually, I have to confess at this point during the show every evening, I wonder what it would be like if I didn't find those cards. <laughs> Just a thought. So, uh, the woman on the end, if I can get you to actually mention your card out loud. The Eight of Hearts, I'm going to try to find it in mid-shuffle. That sounds odd, but look, one card has stopped halfway in the shuffle deck, and fortunately, at least for me, uh, that is the Eight of Hearts. Let's see, who took the next card? Would you be so kind? Seven of Hearts. The Seven of Hearts. <laughs> Good. Uh, and let's see. It was yours the popular one? Would you mention it? Six of spades. Six of spades. We're going to try to get the deck to sort of shoot out and cut itself right at your card, <laughs> which is the six of spades. And uh, yours, sir? Seven of diamonds. The seven of diamonds from the six to the seven of diamonds. And the gentleman on the end? Ten of spades. The ten of spades. We're going to find the next card by means of a simple cut. <laughs> and that is the ace of clubs, the card the woman on the aisle took, your ace of clubs. Your card was, you're shaking your head now? No. Ace of clubs? What was it? Four of diamonds. If you insist. <laughs> I'm looking for a little sympathy. You give me nothing. <laughs> Play the chill for me. I see. No, uh, you, you, you took one, uh, I believe. Would you be so kind as, uh, as to mention it for me? Jack of Diamonds. Jack of Diamonds out of the deck into my hand as if propelled. Uh, oh. Jack of Diamonds. I'm going to try to find yours in the South American or Carioca fashion, if you'd be so kind as to name it. Ace of Hearts. The Ace of Hearts. Let's see. Good. Uh, you haven't forgotten yours, I trust. What was that? Nine of clubs. The nine of clubs, the last card. Yeah, you didn't take one, did you? Were you? Oh, oh, in the second row. What, what was yours, sir? Six of diamonds. Six of diamonds. Well, I'll have to find both of them. 
Nine of clubs, nine of clubs, six of diamonds. <laughs> you're nine of clubs, you're six of diamonds. 